afternoon. Edward, um, we're just out here and we're just asking a few questions of people who are on the streets and the challenges that you, you face and the things you're having to go through. Are you alright to answer a couple of questions? Yeah. 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 Alright, mate, we'll uh, sit down here. Yeah, So how long have you been uh, out here then? Uh, on and off, three years, last three years. Have you? Yeah, that prison, yeah. Yeah. And how have you got here onto the streets? Where were you before that? To be honest, we're working. I were uh, so cleaning supervisor at Morrison's. We are. Nice supervisor here. Right. Um, mother passed away. Split with my partner long term. And uh, I just, it just spiraled down. Yeah. I mean, I've been in addiction for like 28 years. Yeah. I've been on methadone for since 2006. But it's definitely just split. It just rocked me and yeah. it sent me my head all. Yeah. I couldn't cope and started, you know, snowballing, to yeah. crack cocaine, to heroin, stuff like that. Uh, and that led me on the streets. Um, it seems to be with police and stuff like that. Yeah. It seems to be a common theme that there's been a trigger when we spoke to people. There's been some trigger like that. Losing a job, a parent, a relationship break up and things have just kind of like you say just spiralled out of uh, out of control to a yeah. point where people are on the streets um, are you um, are you okay me asking you are you dependent on any sort of drugs or yeah, alcohol I'm, yeah dependent on uh, heroin on heroin no alcohol uh, yeah you're not dependent on crack it's, it's, uh, it's not it's physical isn't it? it's not addictive as, as in it's more mental crack again it's not, you know, it's not is it right yeah. and her how addictive is heroin it's died, you know, I've lost a lot of friends over it, so you, yeah. it's very addictive, very hard to get off. Yeah. Um, they say, you know, you end up dead in prison or recovery. That's three options you've got really in life. And I'm pushing to, to go to rehab recently. Oh yeah, that's really good. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, and if you... Live this life all and if you got a rehab, where would you? What would be the next steps from you from there? What would be the next progression if you could if you could get off the heroin? Yeah, I'd probably move to uh, cities, mate. Yeah. yeah, yeah, just a all new, you know, scene, new, uh, Somewhat different. new environment. Yeah. yeah. But I've always um, I've always been into army, and that's one of my big downfalls, mate. Because I wanted to, you know, as a young kid. Yeah. I wanted it's my my um, granddad and that one in, in wars and stuff like that. So, what were they in? I'm, I'm ex army myself. I'm ex royal engineers. Yeah. yeah. My, my granddad was just signals, signals. Signals, yeah. And what about you? Did you did you apply for army training? Any sort of cadets? Anything um, like any background like that? I did a bit of training with army cadets at Royal Artillery, Carlton Barracks and Leeds. Um, I went to strengthen. You know, there's a, there's a base there, isn't there? Right. But there's one in uh, Nottingham as well. In Middle, uh, I've seen show with Forest. I've been once, yeah, but it was, it's I'm it's going back a lot of there. years, is it right? Okay. So, I did some training there. Um, I know there is a camp there, I know I had some friends that were at Chilwell. Yeah, um, yeah I've been there. Yeah. You know, I'd, I'd have liked to have done what you've done, you know, gone over and took all my anger and aggression out of the people who are causing this you know, world upside down, terrorist stuff like that, that's what I would have liked to do. What do you believe the cause of that, of, of, of the world that we're in and the situation? Oh, I believe it's, it's all the, it's rather arms, drugs or control, isn't it? That's, that's, that's all the camera. Yeah. No, it's really interesting uh, to hear you say that. I've noticed that you were uh, you were with a, a female earlier on. Is that yeah. somebody you, you, you know from out on the streets? So? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've met with her. Oh, you, you're, you're partners, are you? You're both out here, you're both partners. Yeah, how long have you been together? 12 months. 12 months. And you met actually on the streets? Street, yeah. yeah. I'm guessing that most of you uh, know each other from sort of speaking to people. We've come quite pally with people out here and yeah. um, it seems like everyone sort of knows who we, each other is. And yeah, yeah, we, I mean, I know everybody. We, that's just, you know, from being on the streets, using yeah. drug stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, we always try to help each other out when we can. But you've got to watch people as well because, you know, there's a lot of you know, robberies and stuff like that. So there's crime within the crime? The, the, oh, the, yeah, the it's, sort crime of, it's crime within the yeah, uh, 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 So other homeless people will rob homeless no, people? No, of course they will, yeah. They will, yeah. Day to day, yeah. Right. 
And you've, you've experienced that, have you? Have you, yeah. Have you, yeah. I thought the homeless people, wow. Um, because, we, again, what I'm sort of picking up on is people sort of have their own patches and things like that. We, um, yeah, yeah. we got moved on from a place and I've seen a couple of guys having a bit of a dispute over sort of being in each other's area yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, well, yeah, we like to because, you know, by the you earn money for your yeah. addiction, so the lads try to get the little patches here, yeah, so they can, you know, get the, the money yeah. for the addiction. And I think that's what's been a bit of an eye opener for me. It's a bit like there's, you can't just go into yes. being homeless. It's, there's a bit of a pre prerequisite. There's the certain like sort of thing, like rules that. It's like a world within a world, and I, I think us lot are just oblivious to actually what goes on. A lot of. Yeah, a lot of you are, uh, but a lot of you, you know, don't care, and a lot of you don't want to find out what's going on in this world, and, and, and in addiction and stuff like that. Yeah. And what about the support and things like that? Do you find that? Um, I mean, we we've from what we've seen, there seems to be certain people who are doing some really good work out here, and they're really making an effort to, to try and help people like yourself. How do, how do you find that? Well, I've just been down to Forward Leeds for my appointment, so I've got a detox coming up. Not on, not on my heroin, on methadone, but uh, on my spice, the smoke spice as well. Uh, okay. So I've got a detox coming up in three weeks. So I've got to take all that on board. And I've got to do it while I'm on street, so it's going to be hard. What do you feel are like the work of us guys coming out here? Like um, what, what we're actually doing and trying to raise awareness for this? Well, I think it's you guys what does raise awareness, what, you know, uh, lobbies government and stuff like that. Because some somebody must have lobbied the government for, for methadone to come on the streets. Yeah. You know, because there's heroin addicts in the 60s and stuff like that. So I think it's a, you do, you're doing a good job here. No, it's good to hear. Um, because we before I come out here, I got a bit of criticism myself of saying that um, it's maybe um, you're patronising the homeless people and things like that coming out here and me staying out on the streets. You don't really understand because you yeah. can go back to your warm bed and stuff like that. Um, and I totally get that. But for me, it was just I want to I want to experience it at that. It, it's all right hearing it from you, but yeah. that first night I'm laid in a doorway and, and my back's fucking hurting and it's cold and I'm thinking, fucking hell. It's, yeah. it's my hips on the night. Yeah. Um, so how did you experience, you know, how did you feel yourself in the doorway? It was a bit scary, to be honest. Um, I was a bit edgy, wasn't sleeping properly. Um, I got up a couple of times, sort of walking around yeah, yeah, a bit. You, yeah, but I, th I think that's why most guys, you know, drink and, you know, living on the streets because... You know yourself, when you're out here, I feel I need something, a drink or whatever, you yeah. know, to get me through now. Yeah. Well, I mean, these doorways and stuff like that. So yeah. I'm fucking scared, I'm frightened to death. I'm a man. No, I totally get that. Um, a couple of people, because I've, I've experienced the heroin, I've done that again, I, I've, we did a build up of that of five days. I've had aching legs, itchiness. Uh, stomach cramps and things like that which is obviously the side effects of yeah, yeah. Um, yeah um, after five days would you start having effects would you, you believe five consecutive days like I've done five, you're gonna five yeah. days of you, you, you mean yeah 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 you'd feel it gosh you would yeah um, you know I've never just took it for five days uh, I've always it's been always continuous been continuous for me so I do believe that five days you still would have the you know Normal, uh, rattle, yeah, you know, and that's it took up to like seven weeks to get everything out of your system. Yeah, seven I mean, weeks, yes, Bloody hell. No, you know, to, yeah. for your sleep back to get back to normal. Yeah, um, I, I didn't sleep, I haven't been sleeping very well. That's obviously partly because I'm outside as well. But what I've noticed is my appetite has like totally gone. And normally, I eat a lot of food, I'm mm. quite regular in the gym and things like that. But my appetite has it's back a little bit today, to be honest. But, uh, you've got a business sweetheart. I am, I'm sorry. No, we haven't, no, no, sorry. Oh, sorry. Alright. Um, but yeah, it's just, um, I mean, what, what, what are your thoughts on me doing that um, and, and, and testing at that level? What, what's your opinion on me, me doing that? What, getting an addiction? Uh, well, me trying heroin for that period of time. No, I, I, I wouldn't personally, yeah. you know, because it is, it's like I say, it's an addiction, isn't it? How, how, how are you going to feel after that seven week? You know? Yeah. You know, are you going to use again? Yeah. Because you liked it, you, you felt that warm blanket, you felt that 
Kdo také je to také rybou. That's the addiction part of it, and it is yeah. not the only thing you're going to take again. And that, that what you just said there about the warm blanket, that's it. Funnily enough, that's exactly how I, I described it. I just felt really warm and like fuzzy. Um, and it was as if like the outside world was just oblivious. I was just sort of in my own bubble. Is that, yeah. is that the sort of feeling you get as well? Yeah, that's, that's what you get out. You don't get that all the time. You know, once you've got your addiction, the tolerance level peaks, you know what I mean? So yeah. you, you've got to keep using and using and I, that's it. No, I really appreciate that. Is there anything that us guys could do that would, uh, would help you sort of support you any sort of way? And, well, uh, while we're on streets, yeah. just, um, yeah, it's just sleeping bags, stuff like that. Could help. So things like that, yeah. Um, but we're, we're about and we're certainly looking to um, do a bit of a donation or something like that at some point. We, we'd love to be able to catch up with you uh, yeah. probably on Thursday or something like that and yeah. uh, see where we can, we can sort of help and support. Yeah. If you had a message for anyone watching this, the public, is there anything you'd sort of say to, to anyone who, who may watch this? Um, you know, it could be your own brother or sister or a member of family. Just try to give them as much support and help you can. This is it's a frightening place, it is. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, buddy.